comfortable here. All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my desk. This is my desk. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I've been using this desk for the entirety of the time that I have been on YouTube. Every review that I have shot in my office, every build that I've done, everything that I've ever re-wicked or bled my juice or anything has been on this desk. It was my dad's desk in college and before that it was a World War II general desk. I mean, come on, tell me that's not cool. It's just a big, old, clunky, huge, cumbersome desk. This sound of this drawer opening has been in more YouTube, countless, countless YouTube videos that this has been in the background of every time I open this drawer. And I keep like, it's just my organized chaos, really. It's like, there's drip tips, there's, I mean, there's a lot of drip tips. This is all drip tips. That is an obscene amount of drip tips. I have drip tips here dating for atomizers that don't even exist anymore. Look at, look at this drip tip. That is a, but that is a crazy drip tip. So I keep things, I might hoard vape stuff just a little bit because you never know when you're going to need a slam cap tugboat v2 cap in zombie green and blood splatter you think i'm you think i'm just gonna throw this away are you kidding me or a, a, a singular vaporesso coil head from a tank that i have no idea what it is or how old this is no i'm keeping this <laughs> in fact this right here is an unbranded unmarked uh, og recoil cap this was one of the prototypes before the original recipe recoil even came out this is one of the prototypes of the airflow crazy so needless to say i keep a lot of stuff around that i don't necessarily need to keep around and that mentality is why this juice drawer is such a mess and every time i open it i just go why is this juice drawer such a mess or sorry liquid drawer trying to get out of the habit of saying juice i just don't like it as a term in vaping so i'm just calling it liquid from now on and i'm expecting all of my subscribers to hold me accountable and 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 call me out every time i say the word juice but let's just look inside this endless abyss of a liquid drawer i keep uh i keep a lot of juice in this drawer this is where every liquid that i'm regularly vaping lives where every liquid that like has been in a very random liquid tasting on my vlog, lives. There's some sentimental juices in here that I know without a doubt will never get vaped, but they still live in here. And I mean, the amount of liquids in the, it's insane. It's actual insanity. This is like an episode of uh, Liquid Hoarders or something. Yeah, some of these I'm gonna need to go through and just kind of throw away some old bottles, maybe relearn what's in here. And I'm sure I'm gonna have some like backstories and sentimental notes about some of these liquids because I'm an overly sentimental person. And this, this bottle right here is a perfect example of this. This is a bottle that every time I open up this drawer, I see this bottle of liquid and I have not vaped this bottle of liquid since the summer of 2017. On one of our anniversaries, Casey, my beautiful wife, Casey, we, we had a little bit of a vacation and this was the juice, sorry, liquid. <laughs> Shit. I'll never be able to do it. This is the liquid bottle that I took with us on our little anniversary vacation. It's a Lane Cove bottle. This is Lane Cove Alice in here. Very well steeped Lane Cove Alice, I might add. Uh, I pulled off the Lane Cove label and I put a Grim Green DHD sticker on here because I just thought, fuck, that looks so cool. So I just put it on there. I may never, ever vape this liquid ever ever again but the problem is i'm too sentimentally attached to, to this like really crumpled old bottle of old liquid with an old sticker on it this is going to stay in this drawer because that's the type of person i am so this drawer used to be a, a lot more coils this drawer used to be like some liquid and then mostly coils it used to be very well organized and i even have some like old coils back here oh look at it including this little number right here yeah that is a uh looks like a fused clapton 
wrapped around a tampon. I was given this uh, as a joke in the UK, I believe, after Dwayne made me vape a tampon when we were in Atlanta. So I have this. This is like I could hang this from my from my like my rear view mirror in my car. This is like a handmade, hand blown e liquid bottle that is just weird, super alien and weird looking. And it's again, this is something that I just keep. It's just gonna live in here and it may never ever get used. All right, we really need, we need a trash can. So some of these are definitely just gonna get thrown away and I don't want anybody shedding a tear for a thrown away e-liquid. The e-liquids that are in here that are gonna get thrown away are years old. I mean, not, I don't wanna say unvapable, right? Because about a year and a half is about as long as I wanna let a bottle of liquid sit. And then after that, I kinda go, maybe I don't need to vape you so much anymore. So my trash can's gonna go over here. Oh, look at that, fresh baked. So first things first, I recognize a few of these bottles. Things like uh, White Label Juice Co., White Gummy, sure. This is a juice that's, uh, it's very fine. It's a fine juice. Nick, stop saying juice and I keep bottles like this around for when I'm testing things when I get new RDAs or new sub ohm tanks or new RTAs and I just need like a dependable liquid to just test it out with white label the white gummy kind of falls into that category strange fruit spoiled milk was a random liquid tasting from a vlog that became one of those liquids I just liked it so much it's just a reliable liquid that I don't have very much left of, but that's another one of those like tester bottles, like RTA, R, you know, RDA, Squonkers, or whatever. I want a reliable juice. I know that I like the Strange Fruit Spoiled Milk. Of course, I have things like Smacks, Pony on Acid, Smacks, Lick It, 100 mil bottles of those. I've got, uh, well, I've got a very old bottle of Bro Trip from the Grim Green Signature line in here that is still very full and very well steeped. This is a liquid that I will probably never vape again, but I'm not going to throw that away. Are you kidding me? Why would I throw that away? Of course, I have uh, strawberries down under. Another tiny little bottle of Pony on Acid. This is, uh, this is too much. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are you doing, Nick? Uh, I got a bottle of Savage Vega, which Savage was the sponsor or is still the sponsor of the Culture of Clouds podcast. So they sent us a bunch of liquids to try out. This is just one that I recently got into called Vega. That's a mango blood orange. Uh, Savage is great. They make great liquids. Bogan Brews Coroncola. See, this is another liquid that I keep down here because I go to it pretty frequently but I don't, I mean, this is a liquid that I don't necessarily like love, like is gonna be like my all day banger legacy juice, but I do really enjoy it only in small, only in small doses. Uh, I've got another Bogan Bruise, that's the Fair Dinkum in here. Of course, I have a bottle of like, you know, Rocket Blast, Apricot and Cream from Drip Fiends. I don't know if he makes this anymore, but it's just, it's one of my favorite liquids and that's why it's in here. I also have a bottle of this. Now, this is the greatest bottle in in all of these bottles. This isn't vape liquid though. This is a product that I don't even know if it's for sale anymore. It's called Exonerate and it is, specifically designed to remove the VG buildup that happens on windows, especially in cars, especially when it's maybe a little bit colder outside, you get that VG buildup on there. This, it kind of smells like beef, but it, <laughs> but it, it gets rid of it completely. I mean, I've never seen a product that works this well. I have had this for years now, and there is, oh, maybe a few spritzes left in there. Oh, back here, I even have a real good lord, how old is this bottle? I don't even, I don't even know how old this bottle of liquid is. This is an old bottle of Vigilante Juice Co. Uh, Skull and Crossbones used to be one of my favorite flavors. It's a big 120. It's really very well steeped. Look, I'm not going to throw this away either. Even though I probably should throw this away, this is one of those liquids that I think soon I'm just going to have a little taste of. I just want to see how, how it... How it tastes, how it's held up over the years. And God, what, what even is back here? Uh, some old empty Namber juice bottles that definitely don't need to stick around. The old, uh, I don't want to talk about 42 Vape Co. That's not sticking around. Just a mystery bottle. Just a mystery, small little 15 mil, what, what were these, 20 mil unicorn bottles? No idea what's in here. It's dark, which I'm assuming this has been in here for a few years. It tastes like uh, it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. 
or something along those lines? I don't know. Do I throw this away or do I keep it? Do I throw it away or do I keep it? Okay, bye. Let, 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 let's just try to get this done a little bit quicker, I think. Lots of, uh, lots of liquid barn stuff. This is a banana root beer. This is water malone. This is six milligrams something that I forgot to label. So that's real helpful. More smacks lick it. More pony on acid. More smacks pony on acid. Oh, this is like my mouth to lung go-to liquid. Um, Lanco Vapor still does up to a 12 milligram in their liquids and 12 milligram free base nicotine is perfect for me for mouth to lung vaping. And so big 120 mil bottle of 12 milligram Helen. It's not only a fantastic flavor, but 12 milligram, this is what I use for like a lot of my mouth to lung stuff. Old bottle of TPD Vlog Day. This uh, liquid that I got in the UK that is supposed to taste like a Kinder Bueno, is, does not taste like a Kinder Bueno. It's actually pretty foul. Coil turd, primal elixir, Vaptasia. This is the champ sauce from that vlog like a few weeks ago. I got some Turkish maize in here. Uh, v God Mango Bomb, 25 milligram salt nick. This is actually a Casey Pickle liquid, a giant bottle of Turkish maize. And then Bonsai Vapors re-released some of my favorite liquids. The Milk Plus liquid that they do is one of my favorites. And then they added, they did different versions of them. They did Milk Plus Green Apple, Milk Plus Banana. Um, I haven't really been into them, but I've been trying them, and so that's here. Primal Elixir Learn is one of my favorites. There's a really old TPD Bro Trip, really old uh, Short Fill Grim Cult. Anarchist Pink Lemonade, this, this bottle of Anarchist Pink Lemonade was the bottle of Anarchist Pink Lemonade that I brought on the vape tour. All I vaped that entire time was Anarchist Pink Lemonade, and this is the bottle from the vape tour, which again, very sentimental, will not be going away. This bottle is just a mystery bottle. I love running across mystery bottles. Let's see what's in the mystery bottle. I have no idea. Maybe I'll save one of these mystery bottles. Maybe I'll grab a sub ohm tank at the end of this and we'll taste one of these mystery bottles of liquids. Right now, yellow guy might be winning because I don't know. A geek vape flask that has just been sitting in here for I don't know how long. I have no idea what liquid is in here. Uh, what? What are you? It's weird because at one point I enjoyed this liquid enough to want to put it into a Geek Vape flask because I knew I'd be like using it in a squonker or something. I mean, a year later, probably, I have no idea what liquid this is. Uh, more Liquid Barn stuff. It's Green Apple. Many more of the Geek Vape flask. The... Uh, the Watofo one that does have a lot of liquid in it. Another Geek Vape flask with more liquid in it that I have no idea what it is. Kind of want to think that this one is Lick It. Yes, that is 100% Smacks Lick It. And I just want to say, for the record, the plastic Geek Vape flasks are the worst products ever on earth. I've already broken like four of them. The stainless steel or the aluminum, the aluminum Geek Vape flasks are a far better product. Oh, look at that. This is uh this is Moshi white gummy. This is a, this is a completely different white gummy that's really old and I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, Poet Bourbon Spice Roll wasn't my favorite Poet liquid. Um, I really prefer the sweet black tea and I like the amaretto pear. Didn't really care for the Bourbon Spice Cinnamon Roll. So I'm gonna toss this and as we get down into some of these other bottles down here, they're just all juicy wet with liquid all over the place. They've been sitting horizontal for upwards of a year. So yeah, they're gonna be leaky. More e-liquid barn stuff. Fall Delight. Hey, look at that. Another just what the fuck ever is in this. I have no idea mystery bottle. I got some Lowrider. I got some Murica. Definitely gonna be keeping the Lowrider around. Uh, Kilo Banana Milk. Sure, this is like, that's not worth throwing away. That's actually a really good liquid that I might keep. See, now we're getting into like real old bottles. Old bottle of Grim Cult Yig. This is some uh, Turkish blend in a glass dripper bottle. And I have a bunch of glass dripper bottles because I went through my glass dripper bottle phase. But I was putting everything into glass dripper bottles. So I have like four unmarked glass dripper bottles that are all slightly slimy that I don't know what's in them. What are you? Oh, that could be Lick It. Hmm, okay, that might be Lick It. I think that's Lick It. I was putting Lick It in a lot of things. I went on a real Lick It kick. And then these cheap bottles from Amazon just, I don't care. You're broken, go away. 
Oh, same thing happened with this one. These bottles from Amazon, these dumb amber bottles, they're just the fucking worst. Another mystery bottle, yeah! I've got a bunch, a bunch of 12 milligram, uh, you know, classic Namber Juice stuff, Strawberry Circus, Donut Pounder, Atlanta Peach Leaf, uh, Grim Army Tobacco, uh, all in 12 milligram. This was for, you know, mouth to lung stuff. And we still don't know what's inside you, buddy. All right. What the crap is that? That's the sweetest juice I've ever had. Wow, that is insane. And worst of all, this might be a liquid barn bottle? No, it's not a liquid barn bottle. You just, like, you never know, especially if you do, like, some DIY and you forget to label your stuff. Just always label your stuff, because otherwise you're gonna end up with a bottle like this where you're like, hell, I don't know if this is 3, 6, or 12. I don't know what flavor this is. Just some bottle. And I've kept this bottle, here's a story about this bottle. I've kept this bottle of liquid, Charlie's Chalk Dust, head banging boogie, because one of my subscribers sent this to me, and I'm embarrassed to say that I don't remember who sent this to me at all, but it's been sitting in here because I'm waiting to do a liquid tasting with it, and I'm waiting for this person to like reach out to me again so that I can go, oh, Dave gave me this, and now we're gonna liquid taste it. I always hate going on YouTube and being like, ah, I don't know where this came from. I don't know who gave this to me. I'm sorry, I can't give you proper credit. Giving people proper credit is one of those things that I, I'm really a firm believer of. So this will remain in here until we can find who it came from. A few like liquid barn flavorings, and now is when we get into all of the salt mix stuff that I have. I've got some Sprig Mint from uh, Salt Nix out of Canada. I do have a bunch of Yami Vapor stuff. I've got the Yami Vapor Ryu, the Yami Vapor Tarturo. I got that Yami Vapor Jusu, my favorite, minimal. My minimal liquids, minimal. Berry lemonade, minimal. Vanilla, fall delight, multiple straw beezies. And lastly, one tiny container of vapable CBD from cbddrip.com. So the bummer part is I'm not sure I'm gonna throw much of this away. And just the sheer volume of liquid that I keep in this drawer, it, that is ridiculous. I feel like this is a little bit over the top. And there's liquid like leaked all over the bottom, all over the bottom of the drawer. All right, right now, I'm just gonna power through, I'm gonna put most of this back in the drawer and I'm gonna attempt to throw away some bottles of liquid and I have, I have a hard time, like I said earlier, throwing away bottles of liquid, but I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna try to make a little bit more sense of this. Alright, I think I've made pretty substantial progress here. Uh, it, it's much, it's much, much less. I've, I've really thinned out these liquids. We threw away, I threw away a bunch, a bunch of just really old liquids. Sometimes you just have to say goodbye to some things. What I've learned through this experiment is A, I have way too many liquids on hand. B, I need to make more water Malone 12 milligram because I'm almost out. And three, I don't know which of these to try to vape right now. I think I'm gonna vape this one because it was the most mysterious to me. It was the most puzzling to me. I got my fantastic plastic Og Vape VX200 Jewel sub ohm tank. One last thing I wanna point out before I vape this mystery liquid out of this VX200 is after this process, my hands are just coated in a fine film of like liquid residue. It's all over the bottle, it's all over the bot, it's all over my hands. It's the most uncomfortable feeling on earth. <coughs> Check your voltage. It's like, that's like 18 milligram. <coughs> I think I'm lunging like the worst liquid on earth. This is horrific. Uh, it take it. It's like lunging 18 milligram. It's like this has got to be 12 or 18. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's just punishing me. That is horrific. That is a nightmare. 
I don't know what it is and it's pure evil. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave this. Uh, I really just wanted to show you guys how much liquid that I keep on hand, what is in this mystery drawer that I always go to. Anytime in a vlog or like a review or anything, I'm going to the juice drawer. Now, juice, shh, liquid. I'm going to the liquid drawer and now you can see what is in this chaotic liquid drawer. And here's where I'm gonna hand the question off to you. How do you store your e-liquids? Where do you keep them? Do you shelve them? Do you box them in a closet? Do you keep them in a organized chaotic drawer like this? Please, please let me know down in those comments below, how do you store your liquids? I, I need to know because I feel like there's a better way than just this drawer. Anyway, I'm not gonna vape that anymore because that's fucking terrible. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. Just not this. Let's keep on vaping literally anything else. Oh. Damn you, Bottle, for being too big.